In the 20th century, we started to take advantage of new technologies. In the 1930s, people started to use quartz clocks. This was a hangover from the First World War when people started to use radio technology and they realised that if you apply an electric current to a crystal, it vibrates about 32,000 times a second. So you can now use this as your frequency oscillator. Then after the Second World War, people started to use microwaves as a knock-on from radar technologies and they realised that they could then create atomic clocks where you now have vibrations of around 5 billion times a second. And now with the next generation, you can almost get 430 trillion energy transitions per second. The first atomic clocks were developed in the laboratory and they were very large scale industrial type machines, but eventually manufacturers decided to develop an atomic clock that could be sold on a more commercial basis. And this is one of those versions designed by Hewlett Packard and this became a standard atomic clock that was used in numerous observatories around the world. It could be plugged into a rack and used with lots of different other equipment as well.